All right, hello guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. I thought while we were out here, we'd do just one more knife uh, information segment today. And today, to wrap things up, we're gonna talk about the Havilus Bush Tools Nestman. $179 to most. I was able to win this at last year's uh, Pathfinder Gathering. Was awfully proud to do that. Uh, won that. Uh, competing with a youth in a youth competition that could not be your own youth. Uh, wanted to mix it up a little bit and I thought that was a fantastic idea and uh, my youth and uh, I were able to win that challenge and win a couple of beautiful Havilus push tools. So let's talk about this one a little bit. This is the Nesmic style made out of 1095 high carbon steel. It rock wells in at between 58 and 56. It's 1 8th of an inch thick. It's nine and a half inches overall. And the blade is five inches. The handle material is G10. Oop, let's get it up there where you can see it and give you a closer look at it. Now, I tell you what, when I first got this thing, I was not sure how I was gonna like that long belly here as it swoops down the length of this knife and a Scandinavian edge. I thought it was kind of a strange combination. And as I started using this beast of a knife, and I say a beast of a knife because of how thick it is, and I mean the width, not the thickness, it is an inch and three quarters across. Is that right, inch and three quarter? Seems like more than that. No, it's inch and three quarter. So, uh, I was a little concerned about that. 90 degree spine works really, really well. Once again, when you're getting in and you're doing that scraping. As you can see, you can make really, really quick work of that. So it's good for an all around camp type knife. Because of the way the point and the center of the handle once again lines up, it makes it a real good tool. The thinner scales makes it a nice option for a, uh, a carry on your side. It came with a Kydex sheath with a fire steel loop. Like it pretty well. Does a nice job of holding the knife. And of course there's certain times where Kydex comes in awfully handy. But I'm gonna tell you where this knife really shines. And that was when I was processing some game this year and some larger game. I use this as my primary butcher knife for the last two deer that I processed up. And it did an absolute fantastic job with that. So to have in the camp for processing your food and doing kitchen type chores, as well as something that you can use to complete a task around camp, just a great tool. Of course, 1095 being high carbon, multi-purpose by being able to throw the sparks off the back. That 90 degree spine, you saw how well that works. Just an overall great knife for someone who is interested in the Nesmic style knife. Uh, Havlis just does a fantastic job. The bluing on the outside of the blade really helps you keep that, um, you know, protected. It's a very, 1095 is very easy to um, maintain. I really don't have a whole lot of problems. G10 is just some really, really tough material. Uh, just a high quality um, knife that you can use around camp and just have a good time using. Havilus goes back in history a right good time. For a right good time that is, uh, period of time working with the Pathfinder School and they've had a real good relationship for a long time just because they do such high quality work. So if you're interested in a custom knife, you want to support a good company, look at some of the many different designs that they make. Uh, this is the first Havilus Bush Tool knife that I've owned, but I can tell you right now it will not be the last. So if you like that Nesmic style, you might want to give that one a try. Okay guys, thanks for joining me for just a quick little talk about the Havilus Bush Tool. 
Thanks so much for having us, for all you do at the gathering. Thanks for the opportunity to win this knife. I've really enjoyed using it. And guys, if you get one, you'll enjoy using it too. I guarantee. Until next time, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. God bless.